Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is our follow-up session of Service Portal Training. Before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow, Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about Service Portal Framework. Now, before building a service portal or a developer, when, it, when he thinks that I need to start creating a service portal. Now, before that, that developer should know that how service portal framework works, how different service portal components work together. Now, that's a really important thing to know before starting to create a portal. Service portal overview. As you can see on the screen that this is showing you the all the components of the portal. So as you have the service portal in the left hand side and then you have uh, the domain name and the URL at the top. So as a user first user hits that URL and that would be slash SP slash SP is the standard the out of the box home page URL of service portal. So when user enters that URL, then portal gets loaded. Now under portal, you have different sections, different components in portal. You have a page that also gets loaded and then you have widget instances and those widgets instances has widgets and in those widgets you have different programming that is you do HTML CSS you do client-side scripting you do server-side scripting now all those components when they work together then they display the complete service portal to the end users so when a user visits a service portal URL the framework uses the suffix to pick up the appropriate portal properties in order to apply the correct theme so basically it reads the URL and then it tries to load the configured default portal homepage unless the URL has that specific ID. That's what it does. So if you have that URL SP, then it automatically loads as per the properties mentioned in, in that particular URL. So when a page loads, so when you hit the URL and when, when page is getting loaded, then it renders the layout that's the first thing it will automatically render the layout then the content which was represented by the widgets so whatever content you have mentioned in the widgets that will be loaded now each page uh, widget which is which is added to the page it becomes own instance of that widget and that is called that widget instance widget instances get their logic from the base widget template and that we have client scripts server scripts html and css now what exactly these components are so at the top we have the portal now portal is as a defined site-wide setting it's it's basically the top level element of the portal hierarchy it's at the top you can you can see that url definitely url will be the top one because user will hit the url first but the next one is the portal and then we have theme now theme it's just a collection of different style elements you have on the page which you have created that's what you have done and then after theme it, it shows you the page under that page you have some containers in those containers you have rows and then columns and then you have widget instances under those widget instances you have widgets and then you have header footer it's, it's just similar like a web page when you build any web page and then you have menu now these are the different components of service portal let's take another example we have this what makes a portal so I have uh, shown you in just a visual way so that you can understand better. So first you have this portal, which is at the top. So when user hits portal gets loaded, but when it gets loaded, the next item we get is theme that you get the theme of that portal that 
that particular portal which you have created what exactly the theme you have selected and then only it will automatically uh, uh, show the layout of that portal as per the theme you have selected and then you have container now you will have containers where you will put different widgets and all and that's why you have container and in container you have rows and columns so as per the bootstrap you have rows and columns you have 12 columns and you can you can have multiple rows as per your requirement then you have widget instance and in that widget instance you have multiple widgets so two three widgets make one widget instance and then we have widget now this is the main component of service portal now apart from theme and containers and the page we have widget is the really important component and the reason behind it because this is the one where you will write the code and whatever content is being loaded on the portal is just because of widget so whatever content you are showing to the end users that is because of the widget whatever data you are pulling from incident table or whatever tab uh, table from service now that will be displayed with the help of widget and then you have so you can see in, in widget you write html you write css you have a uh, client script and you have server script so if you want to fetch some data from your service now database you can do it with the help of server you want to do something on client you can do it with the help of client script and you want to do some styling you can do with css and the main part is html so this is overall the framework of service now service portal and that's how it makes now you will understand in later sessions about all these uh, all these components that how exactly you create them how exactly you configure them so that you can create a best portal for your organization the next video would be on themes thanks for watching my video please subscribe like and share my channel and all my videos have a great day